And again, why is it that the stereotypical uh, general Arab man is what the media perceives and not myself or people like me? They are much more open-minded and much more smarter and brilliant and educated Arabs and Muslims than I am. And there are so many across the Arab world, but why are we not the example of the modern day Arab man? And why is it that the modern day Arab man is what we see in the media or what we see in the movies? Why can't I be that modern day Arab man? So the reason is obviously because the media is biased. The media wants to sell a certain image because it creates a divide and conquer uh, perception or attitude in the world. And it makes people hate each other and it demonizes a certain group of people and it's, it's ever so repeating it through history. And every time there must be a certain race that is you know, discriminated against and this creates confusion and hate and divide amongst people. So again, the question is why am I not the modern day typical Arab man? Is it because truly statistically the majority of Arab men think in a sexist and discriminatory and backwards way or is it because this is what the media is selling us or and even if even if truthfully genuinely let's say a certain group of people is behaving that way is it because they are arab or they are from that nationality or is it because their level of education was poor or is it because they were raised in circumstances or environments or you know places that were poor in that way so what, why am I, for example, a, let's say, open-minded or liberal or, you know, pro-feminine or believe in women's rights? Is it because I'm Arab or is it because of the way I was brought up? Or is it because of the education that I've had? Or is it because I was exposed to many people and I traveled a lot and I spoke to a lot of people and I had all these different opinions and ideas and I went out of my comfort zone? Or is it because of the actions and the steps that I took in my life that helped me mature and grow into this person? Now, if you take all these typical Arab men who are sexist and whatever, and if you rewinded time and you, and you gave them the childhood that I had, you gave them the parents that I had, you gave them the education that I had, do you think that they would not grow up to be the same person as I am? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they grow up to be the same person that I am? Why wouldn't they grow up to have the same ideas about women and, and non-discrimination and, you know, tolerance and love for the other and, you know, all religions and faiths? This is not something exclusive to me, Salman, as a being, but this is an accumulation of my upbringing, of my education, of my travels, of my interaction with other people. If you bring, if you bring anyone from any race, from any ethnicity, even if you want to talk about like hardcore left, you know, wingers or hardcore right wingers or whatever stereotypical extremists that you want to bring, if you take them and you rewind time and you place them in the same environment that I was in, they would grow up to be just like me. So why are we attacking religion or faith or society or culture, whereas all these things have their beauty and I learned a lot from you know my religion from my faith from my culture that I did not learn from school or from education or western education I did not learn about how beautiful and amazing it is to respect my parents and family by seeing homeless people out in the street elderly houses being filled with with a lot of people I didn't learn about other faiths and religion through through school, I learned through experience, through going myself and researching and reading about it. I didn't learn it from the media. I didn't take the media's point of view about you know this or that. There is beauty in all cultures. There is there are lessons to learn to be learned from all cultures and and religions and faiths and different types of education. The thing is that we have to be mature enough to see the beauty in all of them and how to bring them together and to promote it as one. Instead of saying, I am from this country, we are the best pro uh, non-sexist country in the world and therefore we will go and, and teach all the other w countries in the world this is how they should do it and we will teach them our way and that we have to tell them how their religion and their culture and their society is all 
bad and it's 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 stupid and it's backwards these people will not listen to you they will not listen to you if you if you speak to them in that attitude if you speak to them in a holier than thou and like we are better than you and we really are going to teach you how to be equal to to women and, and and treat them well by bashing your religion by bashing your your culture by bashing your you know your parents and your upbringing and your education it won't work it won't work if you, if if you speak to them in that attitude it simply won't work you have to speak to them from an understanding compassionate and loving way and you have to research and, and do your homework and and read how those cultures and their times and their ancestry and their history were also uh, loving and caring and had equality amongst them because we all did we all did and it's true and if the more you dig deeper into history and you see how cultures have developed at some point we were all loving and caring and and we had fairness and equality and justice amongst everyone all types of people whether it was gender or race or ethnicity or religion it was all there but you know again there's a lot of bias and there's a lot of conflict of interest in the world that shapes our reality and our education our system and our media that that just wants to say otherwise and it just wants to say that the truth or the right way to do things are in one place and everything everywhere else is wrong and it's bad comment uh, you know share uh, i would uh, love to hear your opinion on the subject have a great day